Hey there, welcome to day 28 of our free 30 day get up and go challenge. Sharon Horn Elson here. Looks like I'm in an aquarium blowing bubbles. And today we're going to be talking about the final area, the ninth area of an aspect of our life. We've done physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships, contribution, confidence. And today we're going to talk about communication and we are going to apply the SOAP framework. Can you see that? I can't really see that in this filter. The SOAP framework to our communication. And the tool we're going to use today, I'm going to share that right up front, is gratitude. One of the secret weapons of the people that are successful and happy in this world and on the planet are people that are grateful for the things in their life. People that appreciate and are thankful for the things that are working out in their life, not focusing on the things that aren't. Because guess what? All of us have things in our life that are working out fine and things that we're struggling with and, and are challenging us. And if we focus on the things that are challenging us, we get more of them. We create more of them. If we focus on the things that we're grateful for and that are working out and that we're happy and delighted about, we create and we add more of them to our life. So how do we use the SOAP framework, the story, the options, the action, and the progress to using gratitude to understand and improve our communication skills. Well, first off, we think about what is our current situation? What's our current story? What kind of a communicator are we? I guess we're gonna use me as an example here. I tend to be very direct and kind of in your face as a communicator and depending on the relationship, that's my normal go-to way of operating. I've, you know, my whole life, my whole career, I have tended to be that are you friendly in your face kind of person? And if you are great, come on and join the group. And if you're not, smell you later because we don't want to deal with any of the unnecessary drama and dynamics that come with people that just want to cause trouble. So my current style, my current situation, my current story is that I'm a very direct communicator. Now, what do I want my style to be? What do I want my communication to be? I'm working on communication since April this year in terms of what do I want? What's What am I grateful for that I already have that's working? Because I think my direct communication style, my honest, open attitude, it, it I'm grateful for that because a lot of people don't have the ability to tell it like it is or tell, I always tell it like I see it. I don't tell it like it is. I tell it like I see it. And there's a big difference between how I see things and how you might see things. And we go from there in terms of meeting in a common ground. What is this is your way of seeing the situation. This is my way of seeing the situation. How do we come together? So I'm, I'm grateful to have that direct, open, honest style because it's really hard for me to deal with people that don't. So that's something I'm grateful for in my current story. Now, what would I like to have more of in my communication? I'd like to increase my vocabulary. I believe that if we have more options, more words to choose from, more vocabulary, we have more ways to feel and experience life, which means we're a better communicator and we have a better more productive life and it's easier to create the things that we want because we have more options than other people that only have a couple of ways of feeling and being and communicating. I want to increase my ability to listen because being direct means I'm not always a great listener and so that's part of my current situation. I want to improve and and become a better listener. So I'm studying and learning different listening modalities. I want to be less judgmental. I'm I'm been on a 10 year journey to be less judgmental because I used to be super duper judgmental and I hated it. I hated that about myself that I would automatically judge things. And when I catch myself judging now, I'm like, I stop, I take a deep breath. And I'm like, who am I to be judging this? It's not my situation, my life. It's not my responsibility. It's really none of my business. So why don't I stop judging? So I want to go from being, you know, continually improving and being less judgmental. I want to go to, um, more of a asking and questioning communication style than, than directing and telling and instructing. I want to become more participative, if that makes sense. So I'm grateful for what works for me, but I also know that thinking about things I'd like to be grateful for are the things we just discussed. So that's my S of the SOAP framework. So what's my O for with respect to communication? Well, what are possible options for me to become less judgmental, increase my vocabulary, increase my listening skills, reduce my judgment, etc. How can I go about those? And so I'm brainstorm a list of things I could possibly do. And one of those was early on this year, I joined a, a year-long coaching program on 
communication and confidence, thus adding them to the nine areas of life instead of seven. So I'm actually already doing something and I'm continuing to go through the program and, and listen to the calls and do the things and participate as often as I can live. There's a live um, event I need to go to in Arizona, but uh, with travel and COVID and all the nonsense, I am holding off on that until I can uh, figure out how to do that in a way that's best for me because I have health challenges and heart challenges. Therefore, the vaccine is not really an option for me. So the O, I can brainstorm all kinds of options. And coaching normally wouldn't be on the top of the list because it's a higher priced item, but it's something that it was the right time for me. So coaching, courses, podcasts, anything, you know, books, read books. Books are like one of the best bargains on the planet for learning things, but you gotta apply them. <coughs> So what's our A? What kind of action can we take? Well, we can apply the tools that we've learned already in the challenge to analyzing alternatives and deciding which we want to act on first. I've already acted on the one, and I'm going to commit to doing at least once a week one of the communication segments of the coaching program and training of the pre-recorded things. I'm going to do at least one a week. Try to do two or three, but one a week, depending on my schedule, might be the most that I can commit to. So I'll schedule that in at least one. And if I can, I'll sneak in more, but one for sure. And then how will I know if I'm making progress? I uh, like using little things that I learn and practice, and I actually practice them on in my videos. I practice using different words in different language in my videos. I haven't gone to a structured format for my videos because that's not my style. My style is more open. Now, it doesn't mean I won't because that is apparently more effective. I just haven't yet. But I'm making progress and improving my communication, getting more feedback and less haters. I guess we'll probably continue to get haters forever, and that's part of the process. But I'm grateful for them because if we didn't have haters, it means we're not making a big enough difference. So um, how do I know if I'm making progress? Again, every time I do this challenge, I rate myself on a scale of 1 to 10 with respect to communication. How am I doing? And that has steadily increased and gotten better since I started in April adding communication as an important area to pay attention to in my life because what we measure matters. What we pay attention to improves in our life, right? Or we see the problems with it and we put solutions in place to make sure that it gets better. So what's our action item today? Think of an area of your life with respect to communication. Maybe it's vocabulary. Maybe it's listening. Maybe it's being less judgmental. Maybe it's asking more questions. Maybe it's understanding other people's perspective. Maybe it's being more open and flexible to see other people's point of view. Whatever it is for you, run it through the SOAP framework today using gratitude as your tool, thinking, okay, I'm really grateful that I've come this far in my communication skills, but I really want to go from here to here. How can I use being grateful for what I'm already doing well, build on that, but also acquire more skills and abilities to improve my communication in other areas and aspects of my life. And then just share one thing that you're grateful for right now with respect to your communication skills. That's all we're going to do today is say, hey, I'm really grateful that I am a very direct, honest communicator and that what you see is what you get. Uh, whatever it is for you, share that in the comments below. And I will be with you tomorrow for day 29 of our free 30 plus day challenge. And I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do tomorrow. I'm not sure what we're going to do tomorrow. I think we might do something about frameworks and the power of frameworks since soap is a framework i think that you want to start looking for frameworks in other areas and aspects of your life and how you can use them to supercharge and move you in the direction you want to go faster than any other uh tools or methods that that we've used or found and like i said i i'm still using frameworks that i've learned when i was in in grade school and junior high and high school and college and that means that they're very powerful and that we can use them in a lot of different areas and aspects of our life. All right, any questions, ask. Otherwise, apply the SOAP framework to your communication, and I will be with you tomorrow.